Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome to Prey. Prey is a brand new game, just came out today, uh, just uh, about uh, ten minutes ago, in fact. <laughs> um, Prey originally came out, this is actually the remake in 2017, Prey originally came out around 2006, um, and it was the first person atmospheric type shooter game, um, and this is the remake of it. I never got a chance to play the original game, so when I heard that they were remaking it, and I, I, I was really interested in it and wanted to check it out, um, so I thought I would share it with you guys here on the channel. Um, we're quickly going to go over my settings here. I am playing the game at 1440p on very high preset, this is uh, apparently as high as it'll go. Hopefully everything goes well. <laughs> I have not actually tested the game at all. But let's jump right in. Uh, in Prey you play a um, scientist right on the brink of making a brand new discovery on a space station. So let's dive right in and check this out. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Oh, this is a character selection screen. Well, I don't look like either one of these people. But I am male, so I will go with that. <laughs> Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Oh, good morning. Huh. Ooh. What have you... What is this? Is that, our, is that our phone? Really? Oh, well, thank you! I got some bonuses. Congratulations. Awesome. Thanks. Hey, Morgan. Wake up. You're burning daylight. You sent the helicopter to pick you up. It's just a few tests. Don't forget to wear your suit. See you soon. <laughs> oh, okay, Alex? Awesome. Uh, really great you decided to come on board. We're gonna shake things up, Morgan. Like old times. Like old times. Alright, so I've been given an objective. Press O to open. Your transcriber. Oh, this is a transcriber, huh? First day on the job, Alice convinced me. I'm going to join him aboard the Talos 1 space station. The work we're doing up there is too good to pass up. Plus, he says he's got a surprise. I have to jump through some hoops at the training center before I board the shuttle. Okay, well, we got a, a training tutorial, apparently. Let's grab some loot. Oh, is there crafting in this game? Oh, I'm hooked already. <laughs> love it, love it. I don't know what it... Oh, I just did. Yeah, just throw that on the ground. No big deal. No big deal. Is he wearing socks? Is that his socks? Is that the socks you're going with, dude? The red shorts and the socks? All right. All right. All right. I'm not going to judge you. You know, no big deal. What is that? What is this thing? I don't even know. Let's just throw it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and some pizza? Lucky's Pizzeria? Uh, let's enter. Can we enter a password? Tutorial. Oh, okay, so we got emails and stuff. Hello? Can I, oh, I have to hit the button. Correct the button. Hello, Morgan. So glad to hear you're coming aboard soon. Your first official workday is Monday, March 15th. But we have a series of training exercises run with all new employees. Just some stuff to clear you in the line of clear for you to clear you for life in orbit i can't read apparently <laughs> exciting times ahead have a good flight and we'll see you soon <laughs> hey i sent a package with everything you'll need your first day uniform transcribe and a neuro mod a neuro mod that doesn't sound in uh, ooh. install the neuro mod right away as we're running some tests the first thing in the morning i'm not sure about this neuro mod hmm Ready? Hey, I just got off the phone with Mom and Dad. They won't be the blah blah blah. I got things to do. Quite reading emails. Ugh. I gotta check this game out. The method. Oh, is this a magazine? Excerpt from the method net. Nope. Ain't nobody got time for that. Uh, is that wine? Oh. <laughs> I think I'll take that bottle of champagne. Thank you very much. Congrats, Morgan. Hmm. Got a bottle of champagne now, huh? You can just pick up everything and throw it on the ground randomly. Can I turn on the stove, really? It doesn't do anything, but I can turn it on. Okay. Oh, I can search the cabinets. <gasps> There's nothing in it. <laughs> Encyclopedia of Food Science and Cooking. Okay. 
It's like an encyclopedia I can read. A rice cooker? And we're just gonna throw that on the ground too with everything else. Uh, search the refrigerator. Oh yeah, oh yeah, take all that. I'll take all that. No big deal. I don't even know what it was, but I took it. It's my stuff, it's in my house. I can take it. Aquarium? No fish present. Epic. Nice touch there, guy. Oh, oh, oh. Books I can read. Nope, not gonna do that. Not gonna do that. Is there a comic? Is that a comic book? What is that? I can't tell what that is. Hey, look! A semi looking Xbox slash PlayStation controller hooked up to a. Uh... Is that the consoles in the future in 2032? Is that what consoles look like? Hmm. Ooh, I got the controller. All right. Let's have a seat. Let's play us a game. All right. Crouch. Is there a way to crouch? Can you crouch? Oh, man, I dropped it. <laughs> All right, I'm having a little too much fun here with the dumb stuff. Let's uh, jump right in. Oh, there's a suit we can equip. Look at that. Put on your Trendstar uniform. Is that a uniform? It looks like a spacesuit to me. I don't know. That's the uniform. That's the official uniform of Trendstar. Leather gloves, boots, the boots with the fur, all that. Ready to go. Decked out, ready to go. Uh, hello. Morning, Mr. You. Morning. What's up? You just uh, working on the pipes there, huh? Carry on. I'm not going to disturb your work. Echelon Residential Tower. Oh, space the jump. Shift to sprint and C to crouch or slide. Gotcha. A little mini tutorial as we're going along here. Let's go to the roof. <laughs> Please wait while we climb to the roof. Oh, man. This is a tall building. We're on the 51st floor. Roof access. Oh, there's our helicopter waiting for us. Awesome. So it's the year 2032. Still have regular helicopters. Okay. No big deal. Jump in. First day on the job. Get the helicopter on the roof. Let's go. Let's do this. Don't look for safety. Mr. Yu, please make yourself comfortable and we'll be on our way. Let's do this, bro. The Transtop facility is just a short hop. Not just short. Bethesda Softworks presents. Clear skies all the way. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Clear skies all the way. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. You get all the, the introductory splash ads in the actual game. That's a nice touch. Instead of having a stupid splash screen you wish you could skip all day, they actually integrated into the game mechanics. That's nice. That's cool. That's a nice view on the bay there. Yeah, it is a nice view. I'm gonna give you that guy. Look at that! An Arcane Studios production! <laughs> I love this already. I love it. It's awesome. I like this. You know, I, I got the feeling we could have just left our uh, building right there and just flown straight over this way and saved ourselves a little bit of time. Like you took the scenic route, and I like that. I'm assuming this is where we're going right here. It's the big gold plated building, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's Prey. Look at that. P R E Y. Prey. Let's go. We're here. We've arrived. The gold-plated rooftop. Here we are, Mr. Mind the glass on the way out. Good luck to you. Thanks, bro. Peace out, homie. All right, so first day on the job. Hello, uh, Doctor Hugh. Oh, what's up? Robot floating robot thing. Science operator. I'm a Sybil four nine five science class operator. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. It won't be long before you're on a shuttle bound for Talos 1. Okay. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't worry. Nothing will be missed. Okay, cool. Talk to you later. Thanks for nice chatting with you. Morgan, you. you have a 9 a.m. appointment in the testing facility. 9 a.m. Confirm. Yep, confirmed. We didn't even take a shower or anything. We are ready. Let's do it. We didn't brush our teeth, we didn't shower, nothing. We just put on our spacesuit, knocked some stuff off the shelf, and took off. <laughs> oh, this is a really tall building. Morgan, finally. Finally? Hey, what's up, guy? Uh, 
It's a tight looking spacesuit you got there. Is that your uniform? Hey. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. Thanks. How's your eye? Still red? I know the test might seem a little unconventional, but it's a you family tradition. Breaking convention is in our blood. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Okay. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. You're in good hands. Okay, thanks, guy. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Next Mr. week we'll you, be in orbit. They're ready for your brother in room A. Right. Listen, just be yourself. I'll see you after. All right. Uh, oh, the door opened up over here. I guess that's uh, where I'm supposed to go. See you later. Uh, is this our testing room? Cool. A button. Good morning, Morgan. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm Dr. Bellamy. Looks like we have some tests to run through today. Sure. Probably not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to do fantastic. All right. All good? Great. Let's begin. Let's begin. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. What? Go with your gut. Okay? Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Uh, okay. Remove the boxes. Let's pick them up. And... Wonderful. <laughs> That's... You're absolutely fine. Uh, let's move on to room B, then. Why do I feel like they're really examining me for the most basic of tasks? I was just asked to pick up a box. Or three boxes, that is. Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. I'd like you to do your best to hide in this room. Take your time. Relax. Think it over. Hide! No, I'm kidding. You only have nine seconds. Hit the red button when you're ready to start. Hide. Really? All right, we're hiding right here, you Morgan, guys. we can see you there. Hey, you can see me anywhere. It's a small hmm, room. Uh, any synaptic register at all? No? What are they doing? Oh, that's fine. Sorry, let's keep things moving, Morgan. Head into room C. I'm not so sure about this. This is sketchy. Nah, I'm not so sure about all this. What next? All right. Here we go. For this test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can in the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? <laughs> Simmons? I just thought exactly what Tina brought down. Did you double check? The speaker's still on. I apologize, <laughs> Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Not your uh, fault. Huh. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into D. Hmm. I'm not so sure about these tests here. They're the most janky aptitude tests I've ever seen, but... What is this? Please wait. Uh-huh. What do you want Can from me next? Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. Ready. I'm there, bro. Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. All right. Press start on the screen when you're ready. Ready, bro. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you know. Whenever go you're somewhere ready, familiar Morgan. you know you love. Or try something new. Uh, vacation. I like familiar places. Huh. What's that noise in the Good. background? Looks like you've got the hang of it. Keep going. Okay. You've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does this make you feel? I'm afraid. I don't know what will happen. Angry. No one has that right. Or calm. It was worth it. 
<laughs> it was worth it? Yes, it was worth it. <laughs> Ooh, that's heavy stuff. Yeah, bro. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there's one person tied to the second track. Oh. So, I would save one person or five. I can choose, right? <clears throat> it's the lesser of two evils? I, I don't know. Oh, but you would definitely condemn them if you... Oh, boy, that's a conundrum there, isn't it? Right? If you switch tracks, you cause the second person to die. If you do nothing, you let the first five people die. Oh, that's terrible. What a decision. Let's do nothing. Not your problem, right? Ha! <laughs> it wasn't the way I thought it through, but sure. <laughs> A runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on the platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the train. Yeah, but it would kill the other guy and I'd be responsible for that. I can't do that. Almost done. This again? A runaway train is bearing down all five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. I can still push the fat man. That's the option now. Well, you know, given the choice of life or death. Oh, man. I would not jump on the tracks to kill myself to save those other people. Sorry, guys. Uh, I don't know how you guys got there, but... You know. Interesting. That's well done. Well done. Being perfectly we honest there. For this next part, I'm going to display an image. I uh -huh. want you to take a good look at it. In a moment, I'm going to ask you what. Uh, is my coffee. It's empty. Eh, he didn't bring it. Oh, what the? That's not coffee, bro. <clears throat> what the heck is going on? Oh, my room filled with gas. <laughs> what the heck was that? That's no good. That's not a good sign. Alright guys, that's going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video, guys. Post me any comments or questions down below. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.